Welcome to the Paycheck to Passion Top Tips video podcast, where we bring you the best advice for everyday entrepreneurs from our podcast interviewees. Okay, so what's on the show today then, Meredith? Well, today we're interviewing Karen Capello. And what Karen does is she teaches people how to become a business or life coach. Mm, Cool. And so she has 30 years of business experience. She's been a university administrator, a president of a semiconductor manufacturing company, and an estate planner. And then one day she decided she really didn't want to go there anymore. So she became a certified coach in 2002 and managed to rack up 250 hours of coaching in less than nine months. And so since then, she's trained coaches for three different programs for the past seven years. And she really knows the steps that you need to take to create a coaching business. Yeah, indeed so. It's a very good interview. So let's go and hear from Karen now. So let's see. The first tip would be, um, I would say, um, notice who you're being in addition to what you're doing. And this was a really important one for me because I was always about doing, you know, what I did. But there was a vibe that I was was putting out. There was an essence energy that I had. There was something that I'm radiating. And what I've noticed is if I can, can notice like 80% of that who I'm being and 20% of what I'm doing, that that's a really good way of doing it. So just a little... Um, story about this I I was speaking at Canyon Ranch Health Resort here in Tucson which was one of the top spas of the world actually and that's a whole nother story for another another uh, podcast but a guy came up to me in my like my first month uh, or, or I'm sorry it was it was maybe first six months of coaching he came up to me and he said you know I just love your style you have this great energy about you and he said I need some help with my relationship can you help me and I'm thinking well I'm not a relationship coach but I was giving off this great energy and so I said sure I'll help you and this is another uh, story about listening so I said sure I'll help you and he said okay, I know exactly how this is done. I pay you $1,000 a month and we do blah, 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 blah. And I went, yes. Now, remember, I was was charging $300. So he told me what he was going to pay me and I told him yes. This is the kind of stuff that happens when you're in your essence energy. So that's my first tip is really get into that um, juicy, wonderful energy that you have and, and focus on that. Tip number two, take exquisite self-care. Take care of yourself. What is it that it's going to be really good for you? So I loved waking up without an alarm, and that helped me bring my best self every day. So I was able, I, I was able to wake up without an alarm, and I still do. It's kind of like the goose that lays the golden egg. If you are in business for yourself, you're the goose, So you want to make sure that you're really taking very good care of yourself. Um, Let's see, tip number three, trust yourself. Trust yourself and your own intuition. Um, I I remember years ago, I decided to coach coaches and I got on all these newsletters. And there was one newsletter that said, you know, teleclass trainer wanted. And I didn't even know what this company was. I didn't know what... I thought they wanted me to train people on being a a teleclass leader. So I put in my application. It was really weird. It was due on a Sunday. And I thought, this is kind of weird, but it felt right to me. So I put in the application. Turns out that it was a job for a coach trainer with a company in Australia. And I got on the line and I realized it. I didn't even do the research. I did everything kind of quote unquote wrong and yet I felt so right about it and they hired me a week later and I stayed with that company for seven years. I trained coaches. I um I became the chief learning officer and here's the other thing, it was paid marketing for me. Since coaches were my tribe, I was training them every day. So when they got ready to do their business, they uh, develop their business, they came to me. So I say 
trust yourself. Even if something looks, even if you don't know what it is, go for it. Um, my next tip is, uh, there's a saying that says, if it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. And I run my business this way. So if I cannot say, wow, this is, I, I definitely want to do this, I, I let it go. Whatever it is, even if the person next to me made, you know, twenty or $30,000 or $100,000, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to do it unless I, it's a hell yes for me, which Meredith and Jasper, this interview, when it came through, it was a hell yes. I, like, <laughs> I want to talk to these two. So awesome. I Right? I immediately did it. And let's see. The fifth tip is you don't need to know how. You just need to make a decision to to, to have a business, let's just say. Uh, I have a client that I actually met at Canyon Ranch, and he is a salesperson. And he came up to me at the time he was at Canyon Ranch. He was looking for a relationship. It was weird how these people at Canyon Ranch (laughs) have relationships. But I helped him with that. I also helped him with business. And he's my, I tease him and say he's my oldest client. He's younger than I am, but he's my longest standing client. And two years ago, he started with a brand new company from a standing start. And he said, he made a decision and said, I'm going to be the number one salesperson at this company by the end of the year. Well, honestly, neither one of us knew how he was going to do it because he didn't even have any clients. Would you believe? But we we moved forward. We made that decision and everything started coming to him. The hows came to him. By the end of the year, he had made a million dollars in, in revenue to him, income, wow. not sales. And it was because he made the decision and he didn't need to know the how. He allowed the how the way to come to him. So I would say, if you want to do something, make the decision and allow the how to come to you. Thank you for listening. If you would like more, then all our episodes are available on iTunes or on our website at paychecktopassion.com. There you can find additional resources. You can ask us a question or just get in touch. See you next time.